Racing 86, setting the standards with the most extensive schedule in racing. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Bristol, Tennessee. I'm Bob Jenkins, along with Larry Newber for IHRA Drag Racing. Not regular drag racing, but rather today a special Pro Stock shootout. Yeah, it features the Pro Stock cars, which have been really gaining in popularity recently, particularly here in the South. And the nice thing about this, you had to race to get into it. It wasn't by invitation. Brett Kepner has more from the pit area on what we'll be seeing here this afternoon. Brett? Nestled in the mountains of northeastern Tennessee is one of the most beautiful and the quickest and fastest drag strips in the country. Bristol International Dragway this afternoon will be playing host to the Hearst Shifter Pro Stock Shootout. A $15,000 to win eight-car extravaganza that will include only the best of the best from the 11 race IHRA Winston National Event Series in 1986. This afternoon, only the drivers who have amassed enough points from qualifying sessions throughout the year will represent their brand during eliminations here in this eight-car field that should indeed present one of the best side-by-side -side races at IHRA in 1986. Back to you, gentlemen. Thanks, Brett. The Hearst Pro Stock Shootout being brought to you by Mr. Gasket Company, makers of the world famous involved in today's activity. Now let's take a look at the drivers. Daryl Alderman, Bob Olson, Bob Glidden, and Billy Ewing. The other four are Ricky Smith, Tim Neighbors, Jim Ruth, and Roy Hill. And we're set for our first contest here this afternoon, and it's going to feature couple of uh, veterans in drag racing, Bob Glidden against Billy Ewing. You know, Bob, in a lot of forms of automobile racing, when there's a special race, normally with abbreviated Bob laps Portland involved, cars, preparation again, is different. We it, it's unique. You have to do something completely time. unusual to the machine from what you've done all year long. But in drag racing, that's not so. Drag racing is normally geared for those quick bursts of thunder and power. The change has to take place in the driver's head. And that man right there, has got to be the man inside of everybody's mind right now. He comes in as the overwhelming favorite, truly. He is from Whiteland, Indiana, Bob Glidden, and Billy Ewing, his opponent in this round, is from Snellville, Georgia. There you can see Bob doing some burnouts in the far lane and Ewing getting set to go here in the near lane. The cars move up into the staging area, getting set for our first round of eliminations in this pro stock shootout, $15,000 to the winner. Take all Glidden, of course, Ewing, in the familiar Thunderbird, and Ewing in the Camaro. Into the beams, staging up. The Cars are now inching up to the final light. Glidden's, Glidden's car Glidden's moving ahead just a little bit. The light goes on, and Glidden shoots out, gets the whole shot. Leads coming down over Billy Ewing, and he takes it by a considerable margin. 192.71, a 729 for Bob Glidden. Yeah, it started out okay. As a matter of fact, the reaction time, Ewing was .139, that's of a second, and Glidden .107, but uh, at the top end, Glidden and all the preparation that crew has done and the special gearing for that car, of course, Glidden hitting the gears just right as he moves down the quarter mile, and by the time he got to the final 66 feet, actually 132 feet, which determined the miles per hour, Glidden had a nice, comfortable lead on another 192 mile an hour run. A Kentuckian against a North Carolinian here in our second event with Jim Ruth from Moorhead, Kentucky, going against the driver of this car, the budget machine driven by Roy Hill. Of course, the burnout, which you see Roy Hill doing right now, one time that might have been just for show, but the drivers and crews have found there's a real reason for it. They're actually spinning the tires hard to cleanse them. They lay down the rubber off these tires and then they back up directly over the tracks that they've just patched down onto the racetrack that they find it's good for adhesion when it comes time to go when the light turns green there's a good look at jim ruth who will be in the far lane for this run against roy hill from sophia north carolina in the ford tempo Hill is a man who's uh, been around IHRA 
most of the time since the beginning in its conception. And uh, Hill has had some pretty good runs historically with IHRA. Boy, did he get the jump on Ruth on that one. Did he red light? Yes, he did. <laughs> he got too much of a jump. Jo Roy Hill red lights and Jim Ruth will move into the semifinals. A 190 mile an hour run though for Ruth. Yeah, a pretty, pretty fair country mile per hour run for Ruth, 190 miles an hour in a run where he figured he must have assumed that he had this one. He must have noticed the red light because it was pretty obvious. And there it is, clearly shown. Roy Hill just anticipating a little too much red lighting and losing to Jim Ruth. Next up will be Ricky Smith against Tim Neighbors, and we ask Ricky Smith about Bob Glidden and the streak that he's on right now. You know, we got to look at reality here. Bob's flying right now, and... Uh, He's had tire shake the last couple races. He's lost the first and second round, the last three races. So all we can do is hope it maybe he has a little tire shake. I don't wish nobody to break anything, but uh, I hate to have to run him. Well, Ricky may have to worry about Bob Glidden a little bit later. Right now, he has to worry about the Lawrenceville, Georgia competitor, Tim Na the Neighbors. Again, we've got a situation here where if you go on historical records, you look toward Ricky Smith. Ricky Smith, who won this year's IHRA Winston point standings, accumulating well over 6,600 points. He comes off the line. He's got a real horse race on his hands here, but no, he pulls away at the end of this run. Well, Tim Neighbors got off the line very quickly, but Ricky Smith won with a 189.47, a uh, ET of 746. Now, Tim Neighbors had the better reaction time, a .076. Smith had a point 102, but Ricky came on to win. Daryl Alderman against Bob Olson coming up here in our next contest in this quarterfinal round. Daryl Alderman hailing from Moorhead, Kentucky against Bob Olson, who is from Illinois, Elgin to be exact, in the outskirts of uh, Chicago. And we asked Bob uh, Olson to comment on the man he'll be competing against in this round, Daryl Alderman. Well, that's really going to be the only way that we can beat him right now. He's got much more power than we do, and we're just going to have to go for it on the starting line and, you know, hope we get to the finish line first. Well, we just saw Roy Hill anticipate too much of the starting line. We'll see if Bob Olson uh, does likewise. They get set now to go in this quarterfinal round. Alderman was second in points this year. So Olsen's got to be looking over his shoulder toward Darrell. They both get away. No red light. Green lights on both sides of the strip. And it's Olsen with the lead in the far lane. And Bob Olsen defeats Darrell Alderman with a 182.92, a 7.58. Alderman just has not had that good of a weekend. And it continues here in this shootout. And Larry, their reaction times were identical. 0 0.029 for both drivers. Back with more at the Hearst Stock Shootout in Bristol after this. $24.95 plus you get a sew-on cloth pack, car window decal, and full membership in the International Hot Rod Association, Drag Racing's fastest growing association. Twice monthly drag review brings you all the news of what's happening in the action-packed world of IHRA drag racing plus the latest technical information. Call now, special TV offer. Order your drag review, become a member of the International Hot Rod Association, and get an authentic IHRA t-shirt. Drag review, 24 issues only, $24.95. Call now, 1-800-554-9000. Operators are standing by. Use Visa, MasterCard, or pay COD. Drag review, 24 issues only, $24.95, plus special IHRA t-shirt bonus. Tell operator your t-shirt size. Call 1-800-554-9000. We'll keep you up to date on all the results from drag racing and other forms of motorsports on Speed Week every Thursday at 7.30 here on ESPN. That's Speed Week, 7.30 on Thursday. Well, a surprise, somewhat of a surprise winner in that quarterfinal round of uh, elimination was Bob Olson as he defeated Daryl Alderman. We go down to the pit area and our man Brett Kepner, who is with Bob Olson. Brett? Bob, obviously it was a tremendous upset, but certainly a great win for the Brubaker Grebner team. 
Yeah, I uh, really didn't expect to win, but, you know, it's, anything can happen. It's the first guy to the finish line that wins. It's, you know, anything can happen. That's what happened to that situation. Apparently, Alderman broke a clutch, and uh, although your 7.58 second run wasn't uh, exactly up there with Glidden, it shows that you're at least in the hunt. Yeah, we both left uh, real even. It was a good, clean leave by both of us, but I started to lose them out of the side of my eye, and after that, you know, I, I knew I had it. Obviously, that'd be a great feeling going across the finish line without him in sight. It was. I usually don't get too ex excited, but I was excited. You can believe that. Well, good luck to you at the semifinals. I know you've got Bob Glidden, but hey, you beat him here in the spring. Yep, anything can happen, and we're just going to give it our best shot. Olsen will be up against Glidden in just a few moments. Right now, we get set for the Jim Ruth against Ricky Smith battle. Ricky Smith, uh, the man from North Carolina whom you're looking at right now, is first in the season point standings, and Jim Ruth is seventh. Ruth is having an interesting day. He drew a couple of the real favorites, I mean, in his brackets, in his effort to try and get to the finals of this special Hearst Pro Stock shootout. He defeated Roy Hill the first time out, so it remains to be seen how well he can do against Ricky Smith. At least he doesn't have Glidden to contend with on his side of the bracket. Remember, though, that he defeated uh, Roy Hill only because Hill red-lighted, so I think we'd probably have to consider Jim Ruth a bit of an underdog again here in this one. We'll see what happens as Ricky Smith brings his uh, Ford Mustang up to the line in the far lane, and Jim Ruth gets set. The green light goes on. He's in it. Uh, Ruth has a chance here. No no red lights. They are side by side, oh, it's wheel a good, to wheel. But Ruth pulls it out with a 190.67, a 7.41. So we may be seeing an upset here in the making as Ruth has made his way to the finals. Certainly among all the eight people who was here who qualify for this race, Ruth had to be considered one of the dark horses. Well, let's go down to the finish line where Brett Kepner is with the winner of this match, Jim Ruth. 741 at 190, you're in the final round of the Hearst shootout. Oh, real good. <laughs> obviously, obviously, with 15 grand on the line, the machine is performing incredibly consistent, and uh, obviously you're going to try and hang with this combination? Uh, right, we might make uh, uh, a few minor adjustments, but we won't change much. Well, obviously, congratulations. Another 190 mile on a run for the party time, team. Thank you. So we know one of the contestants in the finals. Now, who will be the other? It'll either be Bob Glidden that you're looking at right now or Bob Olson from Elgin, Illinois, whom we just heard from a few minutes ago from Brett. There is Bob getting his machine ready to go in the far lane and Olson in the near lane. Olson has got to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Tenth and points, but Glidden is the man of the hour. They're getting staged, each driver inching his car up to the line, waiting for that Christmas tree to click down, and it's a red light for Bob Olson, and Bob Glidden is going to go into the finals. Yeah, and look at that. Glidden continues to power down another 190 mile an hour run. I'll tell you what, Bob, in a situation like this, Glidden figures to have everybody covered so well that the other drivers are looking to pull the rabbit out of the hat. Take that calculated risk and jump the light. Take a chance at red lighting. Let's go down to Brett for this conversation with Bob Glidden. Well, obviously, they set a 727 at 191. The car extremely consistent. That's your fifth 720 in a row here. I need about uh, six or seven more of them, and I'll be in good shape. Well, you'll be up against Jim Ruth in the party time Trans Am in the final round, kind of an underdog there. Are you looking for uh, just more consistency? Ruth won the last round. Sure Is that did. right? Uh, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see what happens. He, Ruth has been running really well. What, did, what happened uh, on the prior run with Ricky? Uh, apparently, uh, Jim just outran him. He ran 741 at 190. That's a very good run for this time of the day. Well, obviously, you'll be needing that 720 consistency. Good luck. You're right. Thanks. It'll be Jim Ruth against Bob Glidden in the finals of the Hearst Pro Stock Shootout. We'll be right back. 